Hi everyone. We are doing an activity. This is my helper Robin here. Hello. And this activity is making a hedgehog. We've been learning about hedgehogs at school. They're hibernating at the minute and they're so cute. So we've decided to make a lovely art activity based on hedgehogs. All you need for this really is a paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, you can you know, you can you can use a bit of card. So if you have a paper plate, what you do is you mark out the template for the hedgehog. It's really easy. You might need your mum or dad to help you, um, or a grown-up to help you. So you draw a black line in the centre of your paper plate. And then a kind of a, a nose, a long nose for the hedgehog. And then make it kind of a semicircle up to here. And this is your hedgehog. That's the shape. Then the next step is what Robin is doing here, my trusty assistant. So Robin is colouring the hedgehog in brown. Now you can paint the hedgehog if you like, but we just thought, you know, not everybody has paint at home, so we thought we would colour. We always have colouring pencils. Um, now, while Robin is busy colouring, I have drawn out an eye. You can use a googly eye if you have googly eyes, but we don't have a googly eye this big. So we have drawn out the googly eye. I use a Pritt stick to get the shape, it was the perfect shape. And we've also drawn out the hedgehog's nose. Now you can use a button if you like, or maybe a black pom-pom. So this is what you need. And Robin, I think, is almost finished. Are you happy with that, Rob? Yep. Yep, so we are ready to start sticking. So, so Robin, we yeah. need to put an eye. Where are we going to put his eye? He can't see without any of his eyes. So he needs an eye? Yeah. Yeah. So we have an eye, we've cut it out, drawn it and cut it out. So we're going to use Pritt stick. Robin, will you Pritt stick on the hedgehog's eye? We have also got a brown paper bag, just a shopping bag, and we have cut strips. So these are the strips. You don't have to be particular about what size, because you can trim it down at the end to suit, you know, to, to your liking. So we have cut some strips and Robin has put the Pritt stick on the back of the eye. I'm going to pop it down for her because she's busy showing you how to cut the strips of brown paper. So here is the hedgehog and I'm putting his eye down. There he goes. Now you can use a button if you have a black button or you can use your black circle, just colour in a black circle. And we are going to glue his nose on here. Now the strips can go, some can go to the back and some can go to the front. So we might start with the back, just putting a few yeah. on the back. So Robin, I will put the Brit stick down and you can maybe help me put the spikes on. So. Yeah, one there. I'll, I'll start at this end. Oh. <laughs> just sporadically. Have a bit of fun with it. Space them out a wee bit. Yeah, perfect. Great. Lovely. Now we'll flip them around and we'll put a few on the front as well. Now you can make as many spikes as you like, but we're trying to show you how to do it so we might just speed it up a little bit and maybe space them out a bit. Yeah. So yeah. So one here. You take the top, I'll take the bottom. Teamwork. <laughs> cool. Here. And we have some spikes that we have cut out. Right in here, there's a few more. So we would tend to keep the bigger spikes at the back and the shorter ones at the front. But as I said earlier, don't worry about that too much because you can always trim them at the end. Have we, do we need more glue, Rob? Oh, yeah, we're nearly finished. Okay, do you want to pop one there? Does it need another one? Mm, maybe. Mm. Oh. What are we going to call this hedgehog? Oh, I think Henry's a good name. Henry? Henry the Hedgehog. Now, I think I might trim a few of the sticky out bits. You don't have to, it's up to you. Henry the Hedgehog. This is a lovely activity to do and as I said before, you can get great practice with your scissor cutting and your colouring and 
fine motor skills. So enjoy. Thank you. Bye.